New South Wales and Victoria are grappling with another wave of COVID infections as new variants emerge. Reporter Alison Shaw joins us from Sydney. Hi Alison, what can you tell us about this new wave? Well, Ruby, there's been a spike in COVID-19 cases and hospitalisations across New South Wales and Victoria recently, and that has health authorities concerned. They say that the EG5 strain and the emerging JN1 subvariant of the virus has infected many people and led to a rise in hospitalisations. So in New South Wales last week, there were 400 people hospitalised with COVID-19, while in Victoria, hospitalisations have also increased, reaching 377 people there last week. And health authorities say that they haven't seen such high levels of COVID-19 in the community for about a year. And they say that it isn't necessarily that these strains are more severe, but just that the holiday season has allowed the virus to spread more rapidly. And a new study has found that AI could be used to detect COVID. That's right, Ruby. Researchers at the University of Technology at Sydney are working on new ways to diagnose the virus without the need for throat and nose swabs. So it is believed that artificial intelligence could be the answer. In this study, they found that AI was able to detect COVID-19 in 98% of the chest x-rays it was shown and was also able to differentiate COVID-19 from other respiratory illnesses. And researchers say that the new methods could benefit countries which are experiencing high waves of infections and also have access to portable x-rays. Alison Zhao in Sydney, thank you so much.